Hello guys, welcome back to another video. According to the results of the poll on my community section, this is the formula that the majority of you wanted. A face and body cream with zinc oxide, niacinamide, and bisabolol. I am preparing a batch of 100 grams. We start with the water face. To prepare the water face, we need a glass beaker or a heat proof container. I pour the distilled water into the beaker. Water has been described as the universal solvent in cosmetics and is often the first ingredient on the ingredient list, depending on what you are formulating. The next ingredient I add to the water is the niacinamide. Niacinamide is a form of vitamin B3, niacin, used in formulations to repair the skin barrier, brighten the complexion, reduce the appearance of wrinkles, reduce trans-epidermal water loss, improve skin elasticity, and reduce inflammation. After adding the niacinamide to the water, I mix until it dissolves. The next step is to add vegetable glycerin to guar gum and mix until well blended. Guar gum is commonly added to cosmetic formulations to emulsify and stabilize, act as a suspending agent, and increase the thickness of the consistency, which also helps to adjust the texture. It has more than eight times the thickening power of cornstarch and is known for its conditioning properties. Glycerin is classified as a humectant. It is basically a substance that helps retain moisture and it is the most common humectant used in skincare products. After mixing the glycerin and the guar gum, add the mixture to the beaker and mix for a few seconds. Then I set the beaker aside and move on to the next phase, which is the preparation of the oil phase. To prepare the oil phase, we also need a glass beaker. I pour the sunflower seed oil into the beaker. What makes sunflower seed oil so good for the skin is its composition. It is rich in vitamin E and contains a number of fatty acids including linoleic acid, which is also found naturally in the skin. Another great benefit of sunflower seed oil is that when used topically, it can support the skin's natural moisture barrier. The next ingredient I add to the beaker is squalene. Squalene is a natural ingredient similar to human sebum. It is non-irritating to the skin, has excellent moisturizing properties, and is widely used in high-end cosmetics. It is an emollient that reduces inflammation, supports the skin's outer barrier, and works well with actives such as retinol. The next ingredient I add to the beaker is shea butter. I use refined shea butter for this recipe, but you can use unrefined shea butter if that's what you prefer. Shea butter is extremely moisturizing and highly hydrating. When applied to the skin, it provides instant softness and suppleness. The next ingredient I add is the Emulsifying Wax NF. Emulsifying Wax NF is a blend of ingredients, including cetyl alcohol, polysorbate 60, and PEG 150 stearate. Commonly used in skincare and cosmetic products to stabilize oil and water-based formulations and to ensure the blend perfectly. The cetyl alcohol in the blend acts as a thickener, giving lotions and creams a smooth texture. The polysorbate 60 and PEG 150 stearate helps to form an emulsion, which means they help to distribute oil molecules evenly throughout the water-based ingredients. A combination of all these ingredients gives emulsifying wax NF its key emulsifying and stabilizing properties. The next ingredient I add is the zinc oxide. Zinc oxide can work by sitting on the surface of the skin, blocking the rays of the sun. This physical barrier can prevent UV rays from penetrating the skin and causing damage such as sunburn and premature aging. It suits and calms irritated or inflamed skin. Its ability to reduce inflammation makes it beneficial for people with skin conditions such as eczema, rosacea, and dermatitis. It has antimicrobial properties making it effective against acne-causing bacteria. 
The next step is to place the beaker containing the water phase and the beaker containing the oil phase in a water bath and heat on medium heat to approximately 70 degrees Celsius using the double boil method. During the heating process, I stir the oil phase to ensure that the heat is evenly distributed. You will notice that the oil phase looks a little whitish due to the added zinc oxide. This is normal. When both phases are ready, I remove the beakers from the water bath and immediately pour the hot water phase into the hot oil phase. I mix with a hand whisk for about 15 seconds and then with a stick blender until the mixture is homogenized. If you do not have a stick blender, you can use an electric hand mixer. The problem with using an electric hand mixer is that there will be too many air bubbles in the emulsion during mixing and your end product may not look smooth. When the mixture is homogenized, I continue to mix with a hand whisk and then with a spatula until the mixture thickens. As I mix, I check the temperature and when it is around 40 degrees Celsius, I start to add the heat sensitive ingredients. The first ingredient I add is the D-Panthenol. D-Panthenol has the ability to promote skin regeneration. It can help stimulate the growth of new skin cells, which can lead to a smooth and even complexion. This makes it a useful ingredient in products designed to treat problems such as acne scars, hyperpigmentation, and uneven skin tone. The next ingredient I add in this cooling phase is the bisabolol. Bisabolol is effective in the treatment of acne due to its antimicrobial properties. It also has a soothing effect on the skin, which may help to reduce redness and irritation. It has skin healing properties, including reducing wrinkles and roughness and repairing sun-damaged skin. Its anti-inflammatory properties are often used to soothe the skin. In addition to its calming effects, Bisabolol may have the ability to lighten discoloration. It also moisturizes and soothes dry and itchy skin. The next ingredient I add is the vitamin E. Vitamin E is an antioxidant that helps protect the body from damage caused by free radicals. It is known to improve skin health and can help reduce the signs of aging. Vitamin E can help hydrate dry skin and improve overall skin texture. After adding the vitamin E, I mix for some seconds. Guys, can you notice how thick the emulsion has become? After mixing in the vitamin E, I add the perfume oil, which is optional. Then I mix for some seconds again. The next ingredient I add is the preservative. The addition of a preservative to this formula is essential and not optional. Please make sure you choose a broad spectrum preservative that covers the pH range you want the cream to have. After you have added the preservative, mix so it blends with the rest of the ingredients. After mixing in the preservative, we test the pH value of the cream. To test the pH value, I add 2 grams of the cream to 8 grams of distilled water. Mix well. Then dip my pH strip into the mixture for some seconds. Remove it and see what the pH value is. As you can see, the pH value is around 5.5. I wish to lower it to around 5. To lower the pH value from 5.5 to 5, I add 0 0.10 grams of citric acid to the emulsion. Mix well, then test the pH value again. To understand the importance of a balanced pH in cosmetic formulations, I recommend you watch this video. I will leave the link in the description box below. As you can see, we now have a pH value of 5, which is perfect. Guys, if you wish to obtain an accurate pH result, 
please make sure to use a digital pH meter. I give the cream a final stir before transferring it to a clean sterilized container. This cream can be used on the face and the body in the morning and evening. For best results, always apply sunscreen before leaving the house. Links to where I bought the ingredients are listed in the description box below. This cream with niacinamide, bisabolol, and zinc oxide is designed to treat acne, clear dark spots, create a protective barrier on the skin's surface, keep the skin moisturized, soothe irritations, and reduce fine lines and wrinkles. I absolutely love how soft and smooth this cream feels on my skin. Thank you all for watching the video. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. I wish you a wonderful day and look forward to sharing my next formula with you. Bye-bye and God bless you.